What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Sandy Alcantara, who had 5Ks in 8 scoreless innings. Yep, he threw a shutout last time out, and this time out, 8 scoreless innings, so the reports of Sandy Alcantara's demise have been greatly exaggerated. He dominated with his sliders and fastballs, and his fastball velo was right back where it was last year. So it looks like Sandy is fully back. He faced Ranger Suarez, who had 3Ks in 6 and a third innings, gave up 10 hits, and only one run. He had these changeups and curveballs. Pedro Avila had 7Ks in 4 innings, giving up 1 run. He had 18 whiffs in this game, mostly on changeups and curveballs, and looked really good, especially for someone pitching in Colorado. Justin Steele had 6Ks in 6 innings, giving up 4 earned runs, and had these sliders and painted cutting fastball. Jose Quintana had 2Ks in 6 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 3 runs, and had this dirty curveball. And he faced Zach Greinke, who had 3Ks in 5 innings, giving up 1 run, and had this nasty slider. Brian Bayo had 7Ks in 6 innings, giving up 4 runs. He relied mostly on these sick change-ups. And he faced Bryce Miller, who had 4Ks in 5 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 6 runs, and had these fastballs. Kyle Bradish had 7Ks in 7 innings, giving up 3 runs. And had these fastballs, including this sick sinker and this front door two-seamer, as well as his filthy slider and curveball. He faced Hinjin Ryu, who made his return with 3Ks in 5 innings, giving up 4 runs. He's always fun to watch pitch, and had this change-up, this 70-mile-an-hour curveball, as well as this painted fastball. Zach Gallon had 6Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 runs, and got most of his Ks on well-located fastballs, but also had this change-up. He faced off against Alex Cobb, who had 4Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 runs, and had these 2-seamers, including this pretty front-door 2-seamer. Zach Eflin had 5Ks in 6 scoreless innings, and had this paintish fastball, as well as this nasty breaking ball. And he faced Carlos Rodon, who had 5Ks in 4 innings. Rodon wasn't tremendously sharp, giving up 4 runs and 4 walks. He did get Ks on this fastball and slider. Freddy Peralta had 7Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 runs, and had this elevated fastball, this painted fastball, and nasty slider. Peralta faced Josiah Gray, who wasn't at his best. He had 3Ks in 3 and 2 thirds innings, but gave up 5 runs, and had this painted cutter and wicked breaking balls. Johan Oviedo had 5Ks in 7 innings, giving up 1 run, and painted this fastball at the top of the zone, and had this slider. He faced Matt Manning, who had 6Ks in 6 innings, giving up 4 runs, he got Ks on his fastballs and sliders. Pablo Lopez had 5Ks in 6 innings, giving up 1 run. And he had this fastball as well as this sweeper for a sword. And I overlaid his fastball and sweeper. And you can see just how well those pitches tunnel, but end up in vastly different locations. Lopez faced Miles Michaelis, who had 7Ks in 7 innings, giving up 2 earned runs. And had these fastballs, including these painted 2-seamers, as well as these curveballs, one of them getting this knee buckle. Lance Lynn made his Dodgers debut and had 7Ks in 7 innings, giving up 3 runs. He had this dirty curveball, this wicked changeup. Look how far out of the zone that is and still gets the swing. Lynn also got Ks on these fastballs and had his usual Lance Lynn theatrics. Letting out a Ric Flair woo and cussing himself out. Yep, different uniform, same old Lance Lynn. Lynn outdueled Ken Waldachuk, who had 5Ks in 3 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 4 runs, and had these fastballs and sliders. Spencer Strider was outstanding yesterday with 9Ks in 6 and 2 thirds innings, giving up only 1 run, and became the fastest pitcher to 200Ks in the history of baseball, breaking his own record that he set last year by over 6 innings. My favorite part of this game were his battles with Shohei Otani. First at bat, he beats him with a combination of a fastball, then another fastball that he kind of slipped on, and you can see it's only 94, and followed it up with a perfect changeup getting the K. Then Strider won round two with this slider. But in round three, the Unicorn got a hit off Quadzilla on this rocket shot. Always great watching two of the most electric players in baseball facing off. Strider picked up his major league leading 12th win. 
And he also leads the majors in Ks and has 37 strikeouts more than the second highest strikeout total, which is Kevin Gosman. And of course is on pace for the highest K per nine in baseball history. Strider outdueled Patrick Sandoval, who had these changeups. Andrew Heaney was outstanding yesterday with 11 strikeouts and six innings, giving up only two hits and no runs. He relied on his fastballs, his changeups, and sliders, and got a couple of swords on these sliders. Just a dominant outing by Heaney. Heaney battled Jesse Schultens, who had six Ks and six innings, giving up one run, and had these sliders and got a knee buckle on this one. Gavin Williams had a solid outing with six Ks and five innings, giving up two runs, and had this combo of fastballs, sliders, and curveballs, and he faced yesterday's filthiest starting pitcher of the day, Fromber Valdez. Fromber had a seven-strikeout no-hitter, giving up only one walk. Yep, he would have had a perfect game if it wasn't for that one walk, and he did it on 93 pitches. A Maddox no-hitter, something that even Greg Maddox never did. Fromber dominated with his curveballs and changeups and just took the Guardians apart. Here's an overlay of Fromber's two seamer and curveball. And look how far apart those pitches end up after tunneling perfectly. Valdez became the first Astros lefty in history to throw a no hitter. An incredible job by Fromber Valdez. Now, on to my filthiest relievers David Bednar had this fastball and curveball. Araldus Chapman had this nasty two-seamer, slider, and this splitter. Devin Williams had this elevated fastball. Sam Mole had this wicked sweeper. Sir Anthony Dominguez had this six slider. Gregory Soto had this vicious 98-mile-an-hour sinker. Hayden Wesneski had this sinker for a sword. Pete Fairbanks had this overpowering 99-mile-an-hour fastball. Josh Hader had this sick combination with this up and in fastball and then following it up with this slider away. What a mean combination. But my filthiest pitch from a reliever yesterday was from Joan Duran. Joan Duran made history with the fastest off speed pitch in history to get a K. This is a 101.1 mile an hour splinker. And look how much this pitch dives. Oh my freaking God. This has got to be one of the most unhittable pitches in the history of baseball. Just total alien stuff from Duran. Oh, and he also had this hammer curveball. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Look at the effort this fan went through to get to this ball. They put him in prison for trespassing after this, but he broke out within minutes because there's no cell that can hold this legend. Okay, I kind of made that up. What is up, everybody? My picks of the day today are three-leg parlay. First, I'm going to start out with Braxton Garrett for 6Ks or more, then take Eduardo Rodriguez for 6Ks or more, top it off with Kodai Senga for 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 